a quick tutorial on how to um, set up and configure a uh, wireless 12 and 1 um, re receiver. Uh, this is a, an orange RX which is similar to the Spectrum and I'm using a in this case a DX7 and as everybody knows a DX7EC sorry and as everyone knows or may or may not know with a DX7EC you cannot has no trainer port uh, an act, no active trainer port so um, the only way to get it to work with a simulator is to do this method really um, running wireless so simulating a wireless signal okay so what you do to hook to settle it up you've got to make sure that your switches are in the right position so have it because uh, we're going to be running Phoenix RC so have the switch set on to Phoenix RC and clicked in the middle one for wireless okay just like that right so now we need to um, plug it all in you've got a little wire a, a, th a three wire socket and it's got uh, red white and black put the white to the top and to the right hand side so we're going to be going into this socket right there okay and just make sure that's in properly okay so that was that one done and that one that, that one there plugs into your battery bind port okay well I plug it into the battery bind port anyway okay so that plugs into here like so and then these these other two plugs here that come with the kit um, just I've just plugged I've just got one here and that's I've got that plugged into the first three channels across and then I've got this other one over here and I've got the um, brown cable just a brown cable plugged into that it doesn't really matter which one and that's pretty much it so all you need to do is plug those in with the orange wire to the top into each one of these like that and that's it that's wired okay so now what you need to do is you need to quickly s configure your transmitter for a simulator so that's quite easy to do I'll just turn mine on and mine set up for sim so I'll just go through my settings there's no configurations at all the only thing you've got to make sure actually when you do set it up set it up for a single servo normal I've got ox2 to ox2 and gear to gear and I've got it set up as a heli once you've got those I've named it sim so I know what it is once you've got those set up that's really all you need to do you don't have to actually go into your settings and change anything at all in here nothing so you should have all zero trims or your curves should be just left as stock okay so I'll just turn that off for now right so now we've got um, our um, Phoenix simulator which I'll see if we can get into that and it's come up with a, an error saying your USB interface has not been detected which is good because we want to show you that it does work so what I'm going to do here um, what we need to do basically is we need to plug in we need to turn your basically turn your transmitter on just like you normally would for like for setting up a model and then um, we're going to plug in the simulator into a, a USB port which I've got a plug here okay so um, oh, also you, if you haven't be, um, binded the, the the receiver before you'll need to bind that and you'll need to do that the other way you'll need to actually um, power your power, your, power this up first and then hold your button in the back or click your trainer switch whatever transmitter you've got and then power up and it will be about 10 seconds 
this will flash quite rapidly or with your bind plug in of course so it's just like no a normal binding of a normal uh, receiver okay and so now what we do um, we've got our transmitter on and we're just going to plug it in okay and it's bound and it's um, flashing over here and mine's automatically picked up that I've got a transmitter in here now because there's no error come up but as you can see down here all oh my it's not configured nothing's working properly okay so what I need to do is cut to my other software and I'll show you what to do in the software so that's all you really need to do on the physical side um, and you, you sh all you need to do is, do, is reconfigure your um, simulator and that's that's it so we'll cut to that right now thanks for watching hey guys okay you've got your physical setup done with the uh, 12 and one wireless simulator and the uh, everything is bound and your transmitters on and it's come up and finding this um, like this there's no error coming up on the screen here so you've got it plugged up so I'll, what I'll do is I'll just connect to show you what happens if I do um, turn it off okay and it's saying there's no transmitter currently detected and now there's now I've disconnected my USB completely and it's saying no USB interface connected so turn on your transmitter, plug in your USB port into the red um, controller. And that will take a little bit of time and it's come up. Okay. Now um, if you have a look on the left here, um, all my sticks are all over the place. So it tells you that the calibration's all out. So send your sticks, go to system, your controls, and then new profile. And we're going to create a new profile on here. I'm going to call mine um, DX70C Wireless. And I'm going to go to Quick Setup. So send to your sticks. And then what we want to do is it's looking for which engine control you want. So I'm using my left um, collective for that. So I'll push it up to the top. And now that's selected. Put it back to the center. And then go next. And it's asking for collective. Again, I'm using the same left stick up. So it's found that sweet. So um, now it's looking for my tail rudder control, and now I want to push my rudder completely to the right, and it's found that great. So next, um, cyclic elevator. So it wants you to push the elevator fully up. So push that fully up, and then next, then aileron. It's telling me to go aileron fully to the right for some reason. This won't pick up my aileron, but I'll skip that. I'm going to skip these two retract gear functions and flaps functions and go set up complete. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to get it, make sure I've highlighted my DX7EC wireless connector that I've made, the controller I've built, and I'm going to edit profile. And I'll, there's two things I want to set up here. One, I'm going to confirm my, my engine throttle here and my collective are working together. Yes, they are. That's great. And I want to assign a cyclic role with, for my aileron. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on the unmap. That brings down a whole lot of drop, drop list of controls. And I'm going to move my aileron fully to the right and back to the center. And you can see channel 6 moving. I'm going to click on channel 6. And now that's working, but it's working the wrong way. I need to click on invert. You can tick that box and that should get it working right. The only other thing I want to set up is my throttle hold and idle up. If you've got more switches than I have, you've got to set up both, but I'm going to actually click on idle up and then click my idle up switch. Channel 5 is flicking on and off, so I'm going to select channel 5. And then double check to check that by clicking it on and off. Okay, and then my throttle hold, I don't have any spare channels, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go unmapped. And I'm going to use a key for this, so I go keyboard keys, and then I'm going to click the zero keypad. And that's that set up for me. Okay, so bring your stick right down to the bottom, go finish, and then finish, and then we can just check it, check out, and make sure our controls are all working. 
Okay, so your throttles are working. Everything's working on the. If you have a look at the, the um, transmitter on the left, all the controls are working as they should be. Okay. And so I can just go and give it a quick test. And now I just need to flip on my idle up. And just check that's working. Yep, it's all working good. My rudder is working the correct way. Yes, it is. Okay, that's all good. And then all I need to do now is hit my zero and see if I've got any, um, any throttle hold. And I have. Beautiful. Nice. Okay, guys. Thanks for watching and hope that helps you out. And we'll see you in the scores.